माई मदर यूज टू टेल मी लड़कियां ज्यादा बात नहीं करती और लड़कियां ऊंची आवाज में तो खासकर बात नहीं करती लेकिन मुझे कुछ अलग करना था आई वॉज पेड रुपीज एट हंड्रेड टू स्टैंड अप फॉर टेन आवर्स आई वॉज एंशियस आई वॉज नर्वस आई वॉज लव डैट अबाउट हाउ आई लुक अबाउट हाउ आई ड्रेस अप आई मैनेज टू डू वन थिंग एंड अ क्विक क्वेश्चन which what do you think is the biggest fear in the world is it hydrophobia the fear of water or is it acrophobia the fear of heights well none of them the biggest fear in the world is glassophobia the fear of public speaking char mein se teen logo ko glassophobia hota hai and i am one of these three people Hi my name is Aisha Ghani a biotechnology student turned journalist turned anchor live host and now a happiness coach and a corporate trainer I've had the privilege of traveling to over 30 plus countries and hosted over 2500 live events over a span of 10 plus years of my career So how did it all begin Was I born with a silver spoon No was I do I come from a privileged background No तो मैं आती हूँ कानपुर से एक उत्तर प्रदेश का एक छोटा सा शहर है माय फादर वाज अ गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉय आई ग्रू अप इन अ प्रिटी कंजर्वेटिव बैकग्राउंड और हमारी अपब्रिंगिंग हुई थी विद प्रॉपर मिडिल क्लास वैल्यूज जैसे कि जितनी चदर है उतने पैर पसारिए और मुझे स्पेशली दिस इज़ माई फेवरेट माई मदर यूज टू टेल मी लड़कियाँ ज़्यादा बात नहीं करती और लड़कियाँ ऊँची आवाज़ में तो खासकर बात नहीं करती और जैसे कि हर माँ बाप चाहते हैं 90s के पेरेंट्स चाहते हैं योर योर डॉटर और सन शुड इधर बी अ डॉक्टर और एन इंजीनियर आई वाज ग्रोन अप विद द सेम फिलॉसफी लेकिन मुझे कुछ अलग करना था इनफैक्ट माय पेरेंट्स और इवन माय एंटायर खानदान दे मस्ट हैव नॉट इवन गॉट आउट ऑफ द स्टेट लेट अलोन द कंट्री सो वेन आई थॉट दैट आई हैड टू डू समथिंग डिफरेंट आई हैड टू गेट आउट ऑफ द स्पेस दैट आई वॉज इन वट वुड अ स्टूडेंट एट दैट पॉइंट इन टाइम वुड डू we will work hard correct so i had two options either i could have been a slave to the situation that i i was put in and complain for the rest of my life or i could have chosen to be extraordinary and that's what i did i worked and i worked really hard and scored 92 rank all over india in cet exam and that's how i landed up getting an admission in new delhi in one of the prime institutes for bgmc course that is bachelor's in journalism and mass communication so after much pleading and convincing aur unko three digits bhi dikhai thi maine to bahut sari jaddo jehad ke baad maine apne maa baap ko convince kiya please mujhe karne dijiye jo mera dil karna chahta hai let me pursue my passion in public speaking in communication so i landed up in delhi naya shehar naye log naye jazbaat so my parents had a hard time uh, providing for my college fee so i had to always look out for new freelancing small projects to sabse pehle maine shuruaat kari uh, as a copywriter with an advertising agency that's how the journey began i remember doing my first anchoring project in a mall at a kiosk and i was paid rupees 800 to stand up for 10 hours and to speak about their brand pehli bar jab mic thama bahut dar laga or uh, since i came from a very different background i was mocked at i was laughed about i had uh, i was mocked about everything about me my diction my language main kanpur se aati hu to hum log hum karke abhi bhi maine bola to hum log hum karke baat karte hain to mujhe mera kafi mazak udaya jata tha i was laughed at about how i looked about how i dressed up back in the day i had no money to afford branded clothes but after all these obstacles all this uh, demeaning comments all the negativity around me i managed to do one thing and that was to learn to learn and to learn more every time i fell i always rose back up i always made sure that i was back up again because for me public speaking was not just A, a skill, but a life skill. Because public speaking had given me all that I always wanted. It has given me a better life. It gave me the platform that I wanted to be on. It got me out of my house, out of my city, out of my country, and it exposed me to a global audience. कोई भी चीज आप बार बार करते हैं आप उसमें बेहतर होते जाते हैं. Be it uh, be it pulling weights, be it 
playing a certain sport be it painting you do anything continuously and consistently you are bound to get better at it and if you're also one of those who want to get better at public speaking who want to communicate your ideas well who want to be loved by one and all be it your trainer be it your employee your boss your family your wife your spouse your children it is an indispensable art that you have to be able to speak well you have to be able to communicate well i always say public speaking is not only for the people who have to get up on the stage it is for everybody who has a voice you want you want to be able to communicate well you can be a student a teacher an employee a business leader you want to fetch better jobs be more promotable be more likable be better at relationships be better with your children learn to communicate so let us dive right into the subject how to be a better public speaker number 1 the only person judging you is you yourself i don't be believe anybody who tells me i cannot go on the stage and speak why can't you do that आप अपने पेरेंट्स से बात करते हैं आप अपने घर पे बात करते हैं आप अपने दोस्तों से बात करते हैं आप अपने पड़ोसियों से बात करते हैं यू शेयर द आइडियाज ऑल द टाइम व्हाई कांट यू शेयर द सेम एग्जैक्ट आइडियाज ऑन द स्टेज इन फ्रंट ऑफ द बंच ऑफ पीपल बिकॉज ऑफ द फियर ऑफ बींग जज द फियर ऑफ नॉट बींग गुड इनाफ द फियर ऑफ नॉट बींग एलोक्वेंट इनाफ द फियर ऑफ नॉट बींग स्मार्ट इनाफ नाउ हाउ डू यू काउंटर एक्ट इट प्रॉब्लम पता चल गई सोल्यूशन क्या है talk to yourself my friends what you say to yourself is the most important words in the world jo aap apne se baat karte hain wo duniya ki sabse zaruri baatein hain you have to empower your own self don't rely on external motivation second point you don't look as nervous as you feel now there is a secret story that i'm going to tell you about the life of a public speaker everybody is terrified on the inside believe you me i am terrified on the inside but you don't get to see that that is something that i reserve for myself so you might be very scared you might be terrified you might be feeling all the sort of emotions but you don't get it across to your audience fake it till you make it they say right set a clear intention always know the purpose of your talk have a single mind focus you might not you might know a lot of things in the world but you have to stick to one aim focus that you want to deliver be very very clear about the clarity of the message that you are going to convey number 3 believe in what you are saying because until you believe in what you are saying until you are convinced yourself you cannot put this idea across to your audience and the most important point is practice practice and practice well there is no substitute to this i can give you all the information in the world but if you really don't put yourself out there there is no point so public speaking skill is one of those muscle memory test that you have to continue doing if you want to get better at it always remember don't try to overcome the fear of public speaking get used to it that is the best advice that i can give you so there is a term in psychology which is said systematic desensitization that means whenever you do things on a repeated basis your mind begins to identify it not as a threat but something that you are comfortable with for example when you watch a horror movie for the first time what happens you're scared your heart is palpitating your heart beat is racing you are getting sweaty palms right but you watch the movie again and again and again and by the time you're watching it the 20th time you start to find it comical correct and that is exactly what happens with public speaking pehli baar mein dar lagega dusri baar mein dar lagega teesri baar mein lagega panchvi dasvi baar tak your body your mind will become used to of it it will make peace with it aur hamara brain na bahut smart hai wo kehta hai ki ye to boring ho gaya abhi abhi isme kya main isme kya naya daru correct so every opportunity that you get utilize it to be a public speaker be it in front of your friends your family your small group of circle always utilize the opportunity number 4 greet your anxiety acknowledge the fact that you are anxious acceptance is the first step to excellence jab tak aap usko accept nahi karenge jab tak aap usko ignore karenge you are trying to avoid it you will not be able to see the results 
So whenever you're feeling anxious, just take a moment, relax and tell yourself, this is me feeling nervous and that's all right. 85% of the people in the world feel this and it is not abnormal. It's okay. Okay, give yourself that assurance. And let me tell you one thing, uh, a little anxiety in fact is good for you. I'll tell you how. Because when you're anxious, you prepare fiercely. I'll give you one of the examples of my own encounter. So I was hosting this one of uh, the shows in Europe, in Amsterdam, in one of the biggest stages of the world, Studio 7. I was very excited, but I was very anxious as well. Why? Because I was about to address the audience from 30 plus countries. Now they all come from different nationalities. Many of them don't even understand English. Now I did not know how can I strike a chord with the people without even having a common language. I was anxious. I was nervous. What did I do? I channeled my nervousness into excitement. So instead of going up on the stage with a proverb or with a line or greetings, I decided to do something else instead. I spoke up with the sound department and I made an entry through the audience with the entire spotlight and I came dancing on the song because I'm happy na 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 I don't even know the lyrics but that was a super hit entry of people a 500 group of people from 30 plus countries they all started to vibe with me I just uh, you know we moved together we danced a bit and we had a great event by the end of the day so this is how you can turn your adversities into opportunities number five reframing and visualization so many a times what even the great speakers do to themselves is they beat themselves up over performance issues Ab jab aap apne aap ko itna zyada pressurize kar lete hain, the outcome might or might not be that great stop beating yourself over performance anxiety now how can you quickly engage your audience so it's very important to engage your audience and converse with them Use conversational language with your audience. Now my favorite part is visualization. I love this. So before I step onto that stage, I exactly know how my next five, seven or 10 minutes will look like. That's called the power of visualization. I have decided, I have replayed that in my head a hundred times. My first joke, my first statement, something that people will clap at, the I have decided all of that in my head and I have replayed it a hundred times. It helps you dramatically. Try it once. In fact, there was this story of a great footballer who made the best kick of his life that was also one of the best epic kicks in the history of football. And when the interview interviewer walked up to him and asked, how did you manage to land such a brilliant kick? You know what did he say I have already kicked this a hundred times in my head so when you replay and you use the power of visualization in your head that actually comes real the last point and the most important handle embarrassing situations with grace see when you are on the live stage you do not know what can happen and what you might just have to see next so be very quick to adapt and change as per the situation. A good communicator is not the one who speaks well. A good communicator is the one who connects with his audience better, right? So talking about one of the embarrassing situations that I had to face in my life. Okay, I get goosebumps even talking about this. So it was uh, around seven years back, I was in Hyderabad hosting for one of the biggest telecom companies in the world. I would not take the name. And uh, we had over 9,000, 10,000 people in front of us. Uh, I gave myself a pep talk just before entering on the stage. I was enthusiastic. I was, I did everything that I gave you the tips and I got the spotlight on me. The music is on, 10,000 people are sitting in front of me and I walk up on that massive stage. So I walk up on that stage and I say, good evening, Hyderabad. And what happened? I toppled. I stumbled on that stage. I was wearing the heels and uh, my foot got stuck into one of the wires under the carpet. Now there are two 
situation that can happen. One, I make everybody feel sorry for myself. Number two, I take the charge of that situation. What did, what did I choose? Of course, the latter. So public speaking skill is one of those muscle memory tests that you have to continue doing if you want to get better at it. नीचे दिए हुए लिंक से आप जो स्किल्स ऐप को प्ले स्टोर से डाउनलोड कर पाएंगे डाउनलोड करने के बाद आप इस लैंडिंग पेज पर लैंड होंगे यहाँ पे अपना मोबाइल नंबर डालें और ओ आने का वेट करें इसके बाद स्पोकन इंग्लिश कोर्स में इन्वेस्ट करने के बाद आपको अपना पहला लेसन मिलेगा लेसन के अंदर आपको मिलेगा वो कैबलरी ग्रामर रीडिंग प्रैक्टिस और मेरा फेवरेट पार्ट स्पोकन इंग्लिश की प्रैक्टिस करने वाला सेक्शन यानी यहाँ पे हमारे लाखों स्टूडेंट्स में से किसी से भी आप कनेक्ट होके एक्चुअली इंग्लिश बोल के प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं और आपको बताए अगर आपने तीन मिनट से ज़्यादा उनसे बात करी तो ए आपको बहुत सारे पॉइंट्स मिलेंगे जिससे आप लीडरशिप बोर्ड में ऊपर जाएंगे इससे आप स्टूडेंट ऑफ द वीक स्टूडेंट ऑफ द डे या स्टूडेंट ऑफ द मंथ बन सकते हैं जिसके बहुत सारे और भी प्राइजेस और बेनिफिट्स हैं और तो और तीन मिनट से ज़्यादा बात करने पर जो आपका कॉन्फिडेंस बूस्ट होता है इसके बारे में तो मैं बता ही नहीं सकती वी हैव हैड स्टूडेंट्स जिन्हें जीरो इंग्लिश बोलने से लेके 10-15 मिनट आराम से इंग्लिश में बात करना आ चुका है सिर्फ इस स्पीकिंग प्रैक्टिस की वजह से तो अभी जाइए और इस नीचे दी हुई लिंक पर क्लिक करें और आप भी अपनी स्पोकन इंग्लिश और अपनी कॉन्फिडेंस की जर्नी के लिए एक कदम जरूर लें